Hey, it's Julie with SB Pace. Welcome back to Project 365. It's February. That means we're talking about growth and exit. And the question that I'm answering today is, is it common for an owner to be retained by the acquiring company? So if you sell your business, are you still going to have a job? Are they going to expect you to stay on? If they're a smart acquirer, then they are, right? The fastest way to reach revenue recognition is to completely integrate the new business into the acquiring company's business, into their ecosystem. So technologies, process, people, all those things. And you can't really do that successfully or easily if you don't keep the owner on for some period of time. It would not be uncommon six to 12 months. That's typically the end point. There's some loyalty issues that come up, some people issues that, that the new owner is going to have to navigate around. Your old employees, your employees that have been with you that came in the deal, they're, they're loyal to you. And they're going to feel like they need to continue to be loyal to you when reality is they need to start building real loyalties towards the new owner and towards the new team that comes with that sale. So they keep you on because you have so much knowledge, because you have the customer relationships, because you understand the processes, you know the people, but they don't need you forever and you don't want them to need you forever. You want to help them so they can be successful and then you want to leave. That's the way it goes. So usually six to 12 months is how long you're going to stay. And then you're free to start a new business or do whatever it is you want to do. Enjoy that retirement. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow with more Project 365.